Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. Specifically, artificial intelligence within Power BI. So if you could talk about how you use artificial intelligence within Power BI, it can help you stand apart from the other candidates applying for the same job. So the structure of this video is we are going to address a question that I had in my Microsoft Exam DA100 course on Udemy. Then we're going to download the data source, walk through how to use the artificial intelligence, and then stick around to the end of the video because then we're going to walk through how to talk through how to use this artificial intelligence in your next interview. So what is the question? The question comes from Chris, and he asked this a little bit over a week ago in the Udemy course. And in the lecture, we were talking through the decomposition tree. And he asked, well, aren't we just generating a slicer, a sort order, and a min-max function? The short answer is yes, that's what the decomposition tree automatically generated on the back end. But I would say this question has a framing issue. It's not so much that it generated some simple functions, but rather that you leveraged artificial intelligence to automatically generate that. So now let's walk through how to use the decomposition tree. Click the link in the description down below, and you can get an email with the raw data file that I'm using, and you can follow along. All right, so I have opened up a fresh Power BI workbook. Let's go ahead and connect to the data source that you just got emailed to you. So let's click the Get Data button, and we can go ahead and find where that file was downloaded on your computer. So it's an Excel file, so make sure that you have Excel highlighted, and then we can go ahead and click Connect. So now you're gonna be prompted to find where you downloaded that file. So select it and then hit open. And there are two different tabs within this one Excel file. And we are not going to be using the in stock tab. We're actually gonna be using the geo data tab. And that'll make sense as to why we're using that once we get a little bit further into the lecture. So make sure that your geo data source is selected and then hit load. So the GeoData source is actually a pretty clean file, but if you want some practice cleaning up data, you can actually connect to the InStock data source, and there are a few different things you're gonna have to do in the Power Query Editor to clean up that specific tab. All right, so we now have our data pulled into Power BI, and we can go ahead and walk through the decomposition tree visual. So under our visualization pane, we can click this icon right here, and let's pull it into the workspace. So we're only gonna be focusing on this one visual, so we can go ahead and blow it up so it takes up the full workspace. So what we do next is related to these fields here. So we have an analyze field and we have an explain by field. So let's drag sales into our analyze field because we're wanting to study sales trends. So something that I do in my consulting practice is we often study sales trends to understand where a product or a service is really getting traction in the market. And we use those sales trends to inform our marketing. So what we can do next is drag in our state ID and then also our item number. So if you come over to the actual visual itself, you'll see this little plus button here. So if we hit it, we can manually program the decomposition tree. So we can select item, and then we can select state. So that is one way that you can manually program the decomposition tree. And the way that it works is you can select our item number, and then we can see how the sales are occurring across the different states but we don't want to manually program this. We actually want to use some of those artificial intelligence functionality. So let's go ahead and close this out. And what we can do is hit this plus button, and this is how you can program the artificial intelligence. So what we can do is select the highest value. 
So now it's telling us the item number that has the highest value. So what we're actually going to be doing is using a combination of the manual and artificial intelligence. So let's actually close this out and what we can do is select state ID and then we're going to program the highest value of item number. So this is where kind of the rubber meets the road. So here we're building out this artificial intelligence so that your marketing manager can come in and say, all right, it's time to build out a marketing campaign specifically geo-targeting North Carolina. So now you click that and you can see that, oh, item 25621 is the highest selling item. So it's probably a good idea to market that specific item to this specific geographic value. And it looks like, okay, well, these two items together are doing pretty well, but then there's a pretty steep drop off. And we can also see Florida, California. So this is essentially like a little data app that your marketing manager can use to drive their decision making process in terms of what specific geography they're going to be targeting and then what item they want to market to that specific state ID. All right, so now we have walked through how to use the decomposition tree to uncover marketing recommendations. So how would I explain this if I were walking into an interview? I would say, all right, well, I use the decomposition tree to essentially build out a little data app that my marketing manager can use to find recommendations for their next marketing campaign. Essentially what we did was we used the decomposition tree to isolate the highest selling item per state. And why the decomposition tree was great is that it automatically generated these insights using artificial intelligence. And I would take it even a step further and say that I love the layout of that specific visualization because it just doesn't show you the top item per state. It shows you the relationship of all the items sold, but you have priority to the highest selling item. So in some situations, the marketing manager might have seen that the top five items were selling really high. So then they could use that information to generate the next marketing campaign for that specific state. So that is how I would explain that. And I think that walking through these specific use cases, and you may want to practice talking through this, is a great way to just nail your interview. And this personal branding topic is a huge part of what we talk about within our YouTube channel. So if you want more tactics and strategies on nailing your next interview, you should check out our podcast. We have a playlist where we have over 10 hours of us interviewing industry experts on how you can grow your analytics career. Also, please subscribe if you want more content related to analytics. If you ring the notification bell, you'll be notified each time we post a new video. Thanks for checking out this video and I hope I provided you guys with some insight.